on YouTube. Right, Mr. White, here we go. The tone wood, tone, tone, tone. So, while it's working just now, it seems to be a bit intermittent. Uh, the Carlton made in Coat Bridge amp with its tone wood box. And we've got the corker. And it's, no, it hasn't done The volume wasn't up. Yeah, so here I'm just going straight in with this lead. Is that going that way? Yeah. So, curly lead and everything. <laughs> Obviously no pedals as well. Yes, so that's the problem with it. Does get me up until that point. Just in case it's it's as stupid as a dirty input socket. I don't think it is though. Maybe I think what I've got, or maybe take the bits and maybe I've not done something right when I put it back together again. So I fix these two volume controls and they work when the amp's not in this sort of crazy. <laughs> See, it's almost like there's a gate there when you hit it hard enough, it comes up and plays again. So, amp experts, what happened there? Um, why is it doing that? Um, hope it doesn't kill me. It's an old solid state thing. and for the other channels. It does clean well. So this one has a, a um, this amp's got a gain channel as well, or like a double gain channel and a gain boost button. Four buttons in the front, but it was a I built a pedal that operates them from the floor, so I can now go into the lead channel. I haven't actually touched this since the last time I was playing with it months ago, um, so. <laughs> Slight breakup. And then it's got a presence or a presence style for it. Which Thank you. 
that sounds. We've got to prepare caverns. I think I'm, I, I kind of want to swap the middle two positions around. I think currently I've got I think that's inner coils. Um, no, sorry, outer coils. Yeah. So I've got the the outer coil sound. It's quite thin. Obviously, that's kind of in between the humbucker and the humbucker. You've got this, which in some ways is quite good. Whereas if you go into the other reel, you've got um, bridge pickup, and then the inner coils, which is kind of like a sort of soft one, whereas the outer coils is much brighter, so I wonder if I should have the softer one, that one, between the humbucker. Or I could just not bother and get used to it.
Definitinus de Sanse. back into my flow it? it seems to be working for about an awful long time I wonder if it's just a slightly I wonder if it was just a dirty input or something maybe some capacitors not quite working needing to warm up or something like that I need to polish up the amp actually it's actually quite, it's a great match isn't it it's just Turn up Auburn. But I'm actually, okay, I did fidget about with this a couple of months ago and nothing's I hadn't touched any of the knobs, so they're still the same. But I'm quite liking the. Distortions are actually that's not they're not unusable sounds. I've, and obviously, I've kind of tried to make it so you've got like a sort of mild dish breakup. But on a humbucker or clean on single coils. thing you know you just, because they're all sort of cascading into each other right? maybe the best way to do it is to just to try and find like one setting that you're going to that's just brilliant um probably having this a lot lower than so when you gain boost it to get the distortion you're not gain boosting something that's already loud so it becomes loud you want it to be distorted not loud <laughs> Gig, I can't hear my solo. Just uh, have a big, big. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mr. Tone Control, let's get started. Sorry, I forgot, yes, I'm not really paying attention, I'm kind of enjoying this. Maybe the tone, maybe the walnut likes the ash. Remember that's made of, if you haven't seen that, it's solid, solid ash cabinet. I don't know how much the, the actual amp costs, but I did find a price list somewhere for the upgrade to get whatever amp it is. It's a high gain series 200 watt. Um, you can get it, it's a £250 upgrade to get the wooden cabinet and I think it was, I'm not sure if that included the, the basket weave front but and that was 1990 or something like that so it's like that £250 just to make it wet so I don't know what the amp costs Look, I might be wrong. Um, so I've, I've never really worked out how to do that with a. I've never, to be honest, never tried it with the loop pedal. But I quite fancy having a loop pedal just with that amp. That'd be quite good. It would obviously lose the pure tone of just being, just just elite. Um, but I've, this is this has been the demonstration of the tone. And this is a very hand built guitar. And that's a very very heavy cabinet with a super overloaded hundred and super over specced H and H H and H speaker. I don't think it's H and H. I can't remember the make of it, but a, a fancy one and it weighs an absolute ton. The heat sink on it is like a big metal bit. That, it's the heaviest amp in the universe. Um, makes a difference to the sound, being heavy and having a big massive speaker in it. <laughs> And not even any valves involved anywhere here. I, mean, I can totally, maybe I'm just enjoying this guitar too much, but I can totally use that as a dirty sound. That's fine, yeah, totally. That's the way you can just turn it off being dirty. <laughs> Yeah, 
I'm totally going to work out Snake Farm, so I think that this guitar is doing it with this amp and this sort of sound. <laughs> I totally can't remember what it goes like. See that reverb, it's got like a, a, an Accutronics reverb, you know, like a big, really expensive looking reverb tank thing made in America, bolted into the back of it. And it sounds really good, but it, it's like it's totally at one or something just now at 10. When you put it up to 10, it's like, and it's like because it's got it, you want to listen to it. So I just keep keep running it with too much reverb that amp. Also, having the knobs on the back, which I suppose there's there just wasn't enough room for the knobs on the front um, it's annoying because you can't actually look at it and go oh I'll just turn it down a wee bit you're round the back and the knobs try to work out whether the knobs turn the right way it's difficult what a load of rubbish <laughs> 